Welcome to the project demonstration of advanced traffic violation control and penalty system using IoT and image processing technique. So here uh, we are using Raspberry Pi to capture the images whenever the person or a vehicle crosses the uh, like a traffic signal when it is in red signal. So in normal green and yellow, if the vehicle passes also, it doesn't mind and doesn't read the tag numbers. And whenever the uh, vehicle say uh, traffic signal is red color, then it will capture the uh, number from the RFID tire reader and it will extract the vehicle number from there and it will send the image capture from the spy camera and that image will be sent to the registered email ID related to the vehicle number that's the owner of the vehicle along with the penalty message and vehicle image so this is the image we have received while we testing so called vehicle number and this particular uh, email consists of subject is going to be the date and time along with the vehicle number and uh, message body consists of the message related to the like uh, traffic violation with the signal jump or which one was there and penalties and uh, you can pay the so called money and the image of the particular vehicle okay so here we have interfaced the pi camera to the raspberry pi and we have coded the pi, uh, raspberry pi with python language inside this 32 gb memory card so in that we need to load the os initially and then after os loading we need to uh, write the python coding inside that only and once we write the code it will start reading input from the input module that is rfid reader through this peak microcontroller and then it will control the output module like lcd and traffic signals and pi camera to send the email alerts so here we have interfaced the lcd to the pi 3 sorry pi uh, raspberry pi at uh, pin number 17 27 22 9 10 11 pins and this traffic signals interface at the 5 6 19 pins and uh, transmitting receiving pins along with 23 24 are interfaced to the pic 16 f 72 microcontroller so let us see demonstration before on the gates we need to enable the hotspot in your phone uh, through the hotspot and data only the system will send the email alerts for that we should configure the hotspot name to project 56 double h without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after these three settings successfully done on the hotspots and log into the gmail which we have coded inside this raspberry pi and on the power supply for the microcontroller and then on the power supply to this raspberry pi so Raspberry Pi will take around of 20 to 30 seconds of duration to boot in successfully. Once successfully booting, these three LEDs will on and off two times and the LCD will display the welcome message and we can see the one device is connected in your mobile phone as of now zero device is connected. It should be like maximum 30 seconds of duration and uh, So here the pic microcontroller purpose is which will provide the timing signals for the uh, traffic signals and the next RFID data will be read from this EM18 RFID reader module. The same data will be sent to the Raspberry Pi through serial communication directly. Right. So we got the welcome message on the LCD screen and the lights will be on and off two times and we can see one device is connected in your mobile phone. So after these confirmations, you can provide the input to the system. As of now, when there is a green signal, then if any vehicle passes, we can see the light indication also. Okay, so it won't uh, show any abnormal data on the LCD screen. Whenever the red signal occurred, then if any vehicle passes away, then it will capture the image and now sending the email to the registered email ID. So it maximum 5 to 6 seconds for sending the email alert. So we got the email. Right. Okay. So once again, so we can check that. First of all, tag number, then vehicle number and will send the message alerts, sorry email alerts along with the photo.